Hi, Home Church. So today we're talking about shifting in the spirit, the shift that's in the spirit uh, world around us. And I really thought about, you know, what's going on in our world today. And there's a lot. There's a lot taking place in our world, a lot of uncertainties. You know, there's opinions everywhere you look, everywhere you turn. Uh, people are fighting and angry and going back and forth. And, um, you know, we just just a lot going on. Um, and it has brought fear and anxiety and uncertainty and lack of confidence um, in a lot of things. And, and it's caused people to be in conflict and a lot of things taking place. And, you know, it really hit me that um, this is exactly what the enemy wants. Because you, you have to really understand that he, in the scripture, says that he comes to steal, kill, and destroy. And remember, that's in every element of your life. That's what he wants to do. He wants to steal your mind. He wants to steal your peace. He wants to steal your hope. He wants to steal your anything that is good in your life. He wants to steal it from you. So every day, we're, every single day that we wake up, we are in a war. We are. We're in a war for our peace. We're in a war for our hope. We're in a war for, you know, living a life that, th that you don't have to have conflict. You know, my favorite scripture in the Bible, and this is something God is really showing me, that I really had to look, take a look at his life. And I know I keep saying that. But he really, Jesus really was the perfect example because he lived in a time of Rome when you had a dictator and, you know, the church couldn't openly worship and, and there was conflict going on and, you know, there was all sorts of stuff going on and they lived in a time also where they had to fight for their peace and hope and joy and, you know, all the good things that they lived in. They had to fight for those things because they lived in very uncertain times. And he was our perfect example of, of how to conduct ourselves and, and what to do. And, you know, standing up for your principles is one thing, but being rude and obnoxious and angry, you know, that's, that's a whole nother level. And it doesn't mean that you don't take a stand because I know for me personally, there are things principally that I very, are very foundational in my life and I will not compromise from those things. But I also understand that everybody has an opinion. And my opinion is based on, you know, my perspective and my emotions and, you know, the life that I've lived and the, the experiences that I've had and, and, and what I believe, you know, in the scripture. And there are things that are fundamentally true and right and that you cannot compromise from. But at the same time, we, we have to be willing to listen to each other and live in peace no matter what. Because, see, we have to take back the tools that the enemy uses against us to steal, kill, and destroy everything in our life. And those are choices that we have to make. You know, peace just doesn't come. It doesn't just land upon you and say, oh, here's peace. Now, you have to choose peace no matter what's going on in your life, no matter what the situation looks like, no matter what you're seeing with your physical eyes. You have to choose to allow your spirit to live in peace. It doesn't mean that when something happens, you may not automatically feel that jolt of, oh my God, what am I gonna do? What's gonna happen? Yeah, you're gonna feel that because that's a natural emotion. But take a moment, breathe. And one of my favorite scriptures, and I always go to it, and especially today, it's in Isaiah 26, it's three and four. And let me read it. It says, thou will keep him in perfect peace, whose mind is stayed on thee because he trusteth in thee trust ye in the Lord forever for in the Lord Jehovah is everlasting strength and we have to choose to do that it's a choice we have to choose to trust our father no matter what no matter what's going on around us you know just a little personal story and this month, a lot of things have happened. I'm wearing glasses today. I got an infection in my eye. That's not pink eye, but it was like a bacteria in my... So just things happen in life. There are lots of things, but we get to choose our reaction to those things. Our spirit, right? 
doesn't is it, it, it nothing is forced on our spirit we have to allow our spirit to lead us and guide us and we have to choose the emotions that are associated with how we relate to people and how we do things and how we react to situations and I'm like I said just a little personal story you know there was one time um, several years ago I just started working at a job and we had started pastoring and you know we got our paycheck and we paid all of our bills and we had $38 left in our bank account and we opened up our freezer and it was empty except for ice cream trays and we had four people in our house and we had no gas in our car and you know uh, my husband calls me and was like you know this is the situation and I was at work and I opened up our bank account and I just turned around and I put my hand on the screen I'm like you know what I just really don't have time to deal with this right now because <laughs> I was so busy at work and I put my hand on the screen I said God I just need you to be my God and just take care of this long story short within 24 hours uh, we we had different things happen where we had access over the next seven days to $240 that was given to us whether uh, somebody sent us money, we had AT&T send us a deposit back, we had somebody want us to watch their dog to babysit. So I just said, God, just be my God. Just take care of it. I just, I can't deal with it right now. I got to do this. And I think sometimes that's where we have to get in life, right? We just have to say, God, yes, I'm going to work and I'm going to do my part and I'm going to strive. And when I hear that still small voice telling me to do something, I'm going to do it. And I'm going to obey, but I just need you to be my God right now. And that's the shift in the spirit. We've got to realign our eyes back onto Christ and realize that we have to choose our mindset. We have to choose how our emotions are going to be in our life. We can't just say whatever happens happens we just we have to be intentional and we have to choose or how are we going to react how are we going to speak how are we going to do things are we going to reflect the life of Christ in these certain certain times are we going to have confidence in him you know we have to choose it and I think that's the shift in the spirit is our spirit has to be intentional right with everything we say with everything that we do with those around us right um, and I know this is going a little bit longer and um, but I really implore you trust in God right now choose peace choose joy choose hope no matter what the situation is yeah it's scary right now yeah and there's lots going on and, but we have got to support each other. We can't keep arguing with each other. We have to love one another. Take care of one another. Seek God's face. Look in the scripture and see how he handled every, each situation. And then allow our spirit, right, to be led. And every time it's led to do something, do it. So... I love you guys today. Be encouraged. Everything's going to be okay. We have, we can trust and hope in God. And it's going to be all right. Love you.